You get me. What's good, everybody? My name is Lario. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to get into something really dope, something called downsampling. If you're not familiar with downsampling, it's basically downgrading a sample versus straight up EQing it. You know, when you want that greediness in a sample, you know, we always go straight to that EQ. We roll off a lot of that high end. But today, I'm going to show you a different way that I think sounds 10 times better. I learned this trick from 40, which is Drake's producer and engineer. So we're going to get right into that. Big shout out to my sponsor for this video, DistroKid. Let's watch this quick clip. Using DistroKid allows you to pay a one time a year fee of $19.99 to upload an unlimited amount of songs and albums. Through DistroKid, your songs and albums upload sometimes go live as 24 to 48 hours. Most importantly, musicians retain 100% of their royalties and receive payments every single month. You can get 7% off DistroKid by hitting the link down in my description below. Now let's get back to the video. So basically, I have this beat, I'm gonna play it. All I did was level the sample, not even sent to a mixer track yet. So we're just gonna play it, see what it sounds like, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the difference between EQing it to downgrade it and downsampling to downgrade that sample to get it sound more gritty and uh, just a little bit different, you know, to, to vibe out in that mix. Sounds good, but it can sound a lot better. What happens when we just throw it into the mixer and we throw an EQ on it? You know, we could do this and it'll sound pretty good. But as you can see in this high range, there's still some frequencies that are cutting through. And I don't know, like I can tell that it's just been EQ'd out. There's gonna be a huge difference between this sample and a sample that has been downgraded and, and down sampled. So I'm gonna show you how to down sample that. Even though this sounds good, this technique is still super useful. I do it all the time still. So I'm not saying don't use this technique ever again or anything like that. I'm just wanna show you guys a new technique that you may not know inside of FL Studio. It's very simple too. What we're gonna do, click the drop down. Oh, actually we're gonna double click on it, bring up the sampler, right click on the audio, edit in audio editor. It's going to bring up Edison. Inside of Edison, you're going to see right here where it says 44,100 hertz. That's the sample rate. We're going to downgrade that sample rate. Uh, you right click on it, go to the sample rate section right here, and you can go ahead and type anything in. So I'm going to try 1,000. So that way, anything above 1,000 hertz is going to be completely gone. It's just going to completely get rid of any of those frequencies. So like an EQ, you'd have to put like a bunch of different EQs on it to get rid of all those frequencies. This is just gonna completely diminish the sample. So I'm gonna try a thousand hertz. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, you're gonna wanna click resample right here or else it's gonna slow it down like crazy. You don't wanna slow it down. So just hit resample so it stays in the same tempo and key. Keep it at 32 bit float and we're gonna choose stereo and then hit accept. Now you can see right here that it physically looks different as a sample, all these transients look way different. So if you wanted to, you can hit control N to normalize it before we bring it back in. I'm just gonna click and drag and replace that original sample with this down sampled version. Now I'm gonna solo it so that way you can hear it by itself and see what it sounds like. Sounds a little bit different, doesn't it? So if we go and throw that EQ back on there, right? And I'm just gonna reset all of these so that way we're not doing anything, we're not cutting anything. And I'm just gonna play it through that EQ just to see what frequencies are gone and what frequencies stayed there. Look at that. Right at a thousand. So there's really no frequencies at all above you know, really above like 600, but above a thousand, there's absolutely none, uh, no frequencies at all. All you hear is that nice, rich, low, mid, mid, low end in that sample. You can still make out the quality. I like it. I like where it's sitting. So I'm going to put a blend on that. I'm going to like work it into my mix. Another thing I wanted to point out that I noticed while I was doing this the other day, um, I don't know if if it's an update thing with FL Studio or anything like that, but what I noticed is if you go and you try to change the pitch of your sample after you've diminished it and downgraded that sample rate, you're going to get this error right here. So in order to get around that error, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go, you know, to one sample right here and then I'm going to right click here and I'm going to consolidate that. I'm going to go to consolidate this track and then full song. 
and then hit start. So now we can leave this if you want. If you want to keep it, you just keep it there and uh, keep it muted just in case you need it again. But yeah, now if you go to change the pitch of that sample, you're not going to get that message. You can change it to whatever pitch you want. I'm going to leave it at that because that's the key that I uh, made the rest of this beat in. So I'm going to leave it. You're wondering why that's happening. I'm not really sure why that's happening. If you know why it does that, drop it down in the comments so you can school me on something because I really don't know why it does that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to delete that one. What I'm going to do here is make sure stretch mode is off. And I like the first half of this sample. I think I'm just going to keep looping that. We got to send it to the mixer again because we consolidated. So you could throw that into the mixer. If you need to EQ it again, you can. Maybe get some of those lows out so that way they don't interfere with the kicks and 808s. Give it a little boost where it shines, maybe. Nice. So that's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that link in my bio for a 7% off of DistroKid if you get me.